welcome back to my channel. This morning we are headed out on a road trip yet again. I feel like all I've been doing the past month is driving for a long period of time. The dogs are in the back, all the way back there. Jax is laying down, but Daisy, I just gave her her like anxiety sleepy medicine, so it should kick in in like an hour or so but I just give her that because she does get like super anxious in the car and not like awful, like she's not like whining or anything, but she just will literally stand the whole time and not lay down or anything. So that helps her to kind of just like relax and take a nap the whole time. But we have about a nine hour drive and this lady's probably gonna stare at me, but we have like a nine hour drive and it's like 7 a.m. right now. We were gonna leave at 5 a.m. but we both slept in, so. But I didn't go to bed till like 1 a.m. so I'm probably gonna take a nap after we are like on the road for a while once we get on the interstate and stuff. But I figured I would vlog the trip. It probably will be like a combined video of the few days of us traveling and stuff. Um, just cause there's really not much to film when you're in the car for nine hours so so we just stopped for some gas and we're gonna let the dogs out we're at a loves gas station which i've noticed that a lot of like loves gas stations have a little dog park so we're gonna let the dogs go potty over there there were two big dogs in there but i think they just got back in their car so um andy's in the store right now getting us some like snacks and a drink and some coffee and then we're gonna let the dogs go out which honestly we've only been on the road for two hours so um they don't really have to go out yet but we figured we're stopped anyway so we might as well just let them get out and stretch while uh we can so and then we'll just keep trucking along i don't even know if i said where we're going i don't remember um but we're going to north carolina to my mom's and then eventually to my dad's so yeah it's super cold and my mom said it might be snowing when we get there so hopefully we don't get stuck in a snowstorm go potty <sighs> are we happy to be out the car come on come on let's go let's go over here It's freezing. Say good morning. We made it to grandma's last night. Oh, yeah. And we have some snow. Just a little bit, not a lot. But it's probably going to melt once the sun comes out. This is Jack's first encounter with the snow. What is it? Oh, what is it, Sias? Let's see. What's this snow? Look, look. What is this? Ready, sit. Sit, ready. Ready? Numb! <laughs> Jax, Jax, ready? Jax, ready? Ready? Oh, yo. Where'd it go? <laughs> they like it. Look, babe. Oh my goodness. Say run. Do circles. Run. Run, run. Oh. Ready? Ready, snowball. Yeah, I don't know where it is. Come on. Let's go. Come on. And get breakfast. Come on. And get breakfast. Come on. Stay over here. Good girl. <laughs> over here. Girl, I'm 
suppressed. He's staying so. Good boy, good girl. The chickens are in here, Andy. Oh, they smell them. Go around the corner here. Yeah, but you can see them over here. Come here. There's. What is that? Maybe. This one's your race, you said? Yeah. Come here. What's that? Chickens? They were uncooked. There's one that I really like. Come on. They eat these dried worms out of my hand. Come on. There's okay. chickens? Oh There's my one. goodness. There's one that's. Drax, what is that? Daisy, look. Bop, 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 bop. Drax, what the heck? What the chicken? The goats come up right here. Come on. Hi, Mama. See, there she is. Mama, where? <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh. it's like, what the hell is that? <laughs> Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. Thanks. <laughs> Make sure you guys step in mud and poop that Daisy just did. <laughs> Billy, Billy. Daisy, Billy. did you get all muddy? <laughs> okay, They're all scared. No barking. Jack Snow. Hey, Hi, babies. So that door right there, Keith put there, and then so we can go in through Millie. there. Millie. Then, you can walk down here. Yep. Did he scare him? Mm -hmm. He scared him. Yeah. Come on. Oh, they're scared. Look, they're scared of you because you're so ferocious. Yep, run through the mud. <laughs> what do you think? Hi, baby. Hi, mama. Hi, mama. Sis. Right, but not going in the pants. If you go in, pat him. Hi, mama. No, tell him to just tell Jackson Daisy to stay. Huh? Just tell Jackson Daisy to stay. I think they're kind of scared of him, honestly. No, Jax. Oh, hello. Oh, they're cute. Look at all of them. Hello there. Hi, Mama. Oh, they're all like little Jax and Daisies. Oh. Want some pancake? Want some pancake? Hello. Now that's... Hello. Come here, Billy. Come here. Hey. Hi. Come here, Billy. Hey. Hi, Billy. Jack's eating the pancakes. Hi, Coco. Hi, Coco. Come here. Come here, Millie. Hey, hello. That's Billy. I like that one. Billy? Yeah. Flurry is timid. This is father girl right That's here. That's Millie. She's sweet. She's the one that you saw jumping on the... See, she loves her. Oh, she's so cute. Hi, Billy. Hi, babe. And it's like a real one. Good boy. Good boy. Did you walk down and see the creek? Yeah. I'm going to use it. No, I did not. Sis, so, you had to pee? <laughs> Look at her go in the snow. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Run! <laughs> Run off them pancakes you just ate. <laughs> Come on, Mama! Well, Mama, you love it. You love it. Hey, hey. <laughs> Daisy, say. We have to mow. You like it? Oh, we. 
Ew. No. Are you happy? Are you happy? Oh my goodness. You're so happy. You're so happy. Good boy. You got the ball? You got that? Ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Adam, come over here, I'll show you where the pan is. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. You bring it to grandma. <laughs> I'll show her. <laughs> <laughs> you go get it. I'm firing. So that's kind of far, Dad. <laughs> Where is it? Get it. <laughs> Honestly. She's excited because she found a stick. Look at this stick. Look at this stick. Grandma, I get muddy for your house. See? See? Isn't it pretty? <laughs> she loves six. Come over here, I'll show you. He still hasn't found the ball. Come on. Let's go. He's tired. They would lose so much weight if they were here every day. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> when Callie's here, I get tired of throwing the ball. So, see, I was sitting over there. It's crazy how loud it is right here compared to like, just right there. But don't worry. It's kind of Jax, you want to take a bath? You take a bath in there? Take a bath in there? <laughs> you want to take a bath in there? No. I don't want to. Take a bath in there. I don't want to. Oh, oh, oh. I'm too tired. I'm too tired. Leave the sticks alone. Ooh. Come on. The goat still hasn't come out. Am I coming home from school? They're usually right here. They'll be out. What's good? All right, so we're in the car now. We hung out at my mom's this morning like you guys saw and let the dogs run around and then we just like dried them off and I brushed them a little bit so that I could get all the dirt and stuff out of their hair. Sorry if you guys can hear this shaking. I try to put it up to where it's good. But we're in the car now. The dogs are <laughs> sleeping in the back because they're so tired from running around. Um, but we're headed to Ohio. It's about a uh, five hour drive. Yeah. Five, five and a half hour drive and we're gonna go to his dad's house and hang out up there and see his mom all of his family is in Ohio and then um, but I wanted to answer these questions that I asked on Instagram uh, yesterday I posted while we were in the car if you guys had any questions about traveling with two big dogs and let's see I got a few questions someone said do they need a lot of space to move around or are they okay with enough room to sit so they don't really need a lot of space I feel like but it's nice on long road trips I mean you know obviously they're not gonna want to sit in a seat um, but I mean they would fit perfectly fine in like the back seat of a car but they would obviously be cramped and it's harder with when we have a lot of stuff I feel like this lighting is awful there that's a little bit better um, but yeah, I mean, we have them in the back of the SUV, so we have a third row um, like car, so we just put the third row down and then they go all the way in the back. Sometimes we'll put the second row down and then they'll have that too, but it really just depends on how much other like stuff we have with us. We have a lot of stuff now because we have like all the dog food and all my stuff moving to like my dad's and all that. So um, it really just depends, but I always try to give them enough space to like put their bed down so that they can be comfortable and lay on that together and still like stand up and walk around like turn around if they want to and then somebody said 
do you stop often for them to use the bathroom or about the same amount as normal? And somebody else asked, how often do you stop for potty breaks? How often do you give them walking breaks? So really, I mean, they're fine. Like we can leave them at home for eight hours. So I keep that in mind. But usually if we leave in the morning, like early in the morning for a long road trip during the day, I usually don't feed them in the morning because I don't want them to have to poop or like if they get sick or if they get diarrhea or something like that, I just don't want to deal with that. So I usually give them a little bit of extra food the night before for dinner and then we skip breakfast and I let them drink some water and stuff and then we get in the car and we go. Obviously I let them go potty and everything before we leave and then usually we try to go like probably not, probably not longer than five hours without stopping and letting them get out and stretch and everything and then we just let them like go potty and I give them some water we have like a little travel dog bowl that pops out and I give them some water they usually don't like to drink a ton of water in the car I don't know I think they're just like on edge but and then somebody said um, do you have to find pet friendly rest stops or do you stop anywhere and stop anywhere and hope for the best so lately we've been stopping at a Love's gas station on the way and almost every Love's gas station has had a little dog park which I think is cool. One time we stopped, what was that fast food we stopped at that had a dog park? Was it like Wendy's? I think it was Wendy's. Yeah we stopped at a Wendy's one time a while ago and they had a dog park there which was pretty cool. So I feel like anything off the interstate will usually Love's is great. I think all of them now probably have that now. So I would definitely look for it loves if you're traveling, but um, usually we don't stop at a rest stop unless all we have to do is get out and pee. Usually we try to do like everything at once. Like we try to get out to get gas, to get food, to get, for us to go in and pee, a little area for the dogs to pee. And even if there isn't like an enclosed area, we just take them like off to the grass or whatever and let them go potty and like walk around. You don't need a lot of grass for them to just go potty. And then let's see, somebody said, do they sleep? Somebody said, do they sleep during the car ride? My pup was uncomfortable the whole time. Um, yes, but Daisy, she takes a while to like actually get comfortable and lay down when we first start the road trip. So I actually have tra Trazodone for Daisy because she has like kind of anxiety when she is in the car and stuff. She just won't pant and like won't lay down. So sometimes I'll give her one tablet and but the dose is two. So sometimes I'll give her the full dose or half um, but it really just depends like we just ran them and everything they were running around so I didn't give her any because I knew she was gonna be so tired and sleep so if you're going on like a shorter road trip I would definitely recommend maybe like walking them or tiring them out a ton beforehand and then they'll, they'll sleep or you can try like the trazodone from your vet you have to get it from your vet because it's a controlled substance um, but they'll give you give that to you for car rides and stuff and you, I think it's it doesn't expire for like a year so um, you have that supply and then there's also like anxiety stuff that you can get for dogs, like anxiety treats on like Chewy. And then there's CBD oil that I have um, that I actually ordered, I think off Amazon. I've linked it in one of my videos before. Actually, I think I always put it in the description. Um, but that works too to kind of like calm Daisy down. But I always just do the trazodone because then she's like calm and sleeps the whole way and it's good to go. So I would definitely, if, if your dog's like super uncomfortable the whole time, I'd probably like ask your vet about it and see what they think. Um, and then the last question is, do they get car sick and nauseous? No, we are super lucky. None of them get, neither of them gets car sick or nauseous or anything. I know some people, their dogs always get car sick and throw up and stuff. And we've never had that issue. So I don't know. I think we always just took them in the car when they were puppies. So I think that they're just used to it, honestly. Um, and they are related. So that probably has something to do with it. So yeah, luckily they don't throw up or anything like that. So that's great but but yeah that's all the questions that I got if you guys have any more just leave them down below and I'll try to answer them but I'm gonna end this video here because I think I have enough footage to make a shorter kind of vlog so uh, make sure you follow me on my Instagram and also the dog's Instagram which is linked in my Instagram description if you just want to go there and then also I have a TikTok that I post on and yeah, make sure you subscribe, turn your notification bell on, comment down below, like this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.